Joe sent me uh, an, an image. Let me uh, share that with you. Joe's image. I uh, hope that doesn't... Don't mind that I'm sharing that, Joe. Uh, sent me this image here. And uh, it's talking about how hard it is to apply fillets uh, to this part here. Um, because he actually had to select literally every single add to to apply a fillet to to that and you can see there's a lot of edges if you kind of like clicking around here you see you know it stops at each of these and then you got all these different in here uh, if there's an easier way to do that and there's an easier way to do that I think um, Joe but I will say a couple of things first of all it looks to me like this is maybe some STL file that was brought in because I see there's kind of like some triangles down here and it also looks like that these two components are, n are two different bodies possible because I can see some lines down here. So that's maybe some other things to think about. But if you are going to add a fill it all the way around this edge and also get these letters um, and you don't want to sit there and click each single one. See what happens is every time it hits an intersection, it stops. So that's a lot to, to select. So uh, open up Fusion here. Let's go to a clean sleigh and um, let me think about how do I model this up. Maybe we try something like this. I don't know if this is going to work, Joe. Might give you an idea. Um, let's do a line from here to here. Line from here to here. Line from here. So here and a line from here. Okay, so this now kind of like is uh, is a pie or four. So if I hit extrude, I can select this portion here and like extrude that down like that, and turn the sketch back on. Right click and do repeat press pull. Select this one here, and let's just go down to. Let's make this a new body so they're split because I think that's somewhat what you are experience in there when you're trying to select these these lines is that they are uh, they ending up being multiple bodies kind of thing like that down there like that new body so we have kind of like these break and sex sec segments so it means if i select the fillet and i select there you see how it's not going to go all the way around it's going to stop um because it sees sees like there's a breakage here. One way to do this, and it's probably not going to work because I'm having these center lines right here on this one. But one way I would select, um, if I open up your photo again, if I was going to add fillers to the whole outside and to, to in here on the letters would be to go, this is kind of neat. I would go to my selection tool up here. Go to selection filters. Now this should all be checked. If I go and say select, uncheck select all, but go and say body edges and only check that. Guess what that means? That means that right now I can't select a face. I can only select edges. And then what you could do was to go on, for example, the side view here and then just highlight all that. And that means that now you've selected every single edge in here. Now mine, I don't want these center. If you don't want some, you can probably hold down control and unselect them. Maybe not this one here. All right, whatever. Select your fillet and it will give you uh, those fillets. Now this one here, I'm gonna get on all the, the cross too, but maybe it's, it's what it was what I wanted. Uh, but that's how I would select all those, all those top ones here. So I don't have to go in and select each one. Would literally just be going into a side view Go to your selection tool, selection filters, only select body edges, window the top, like that, you'll select all those. So that was a cool little trick there. I hope you tell me, Joe. <laughs> you tell me. What do you think?